very, how do you say, yeah, self-effacing, modest, doesn't want any fame or glory. Still, the fame or glory will follow the Vaishnava around, whether he wants it or not. So this is what the Mahanidhi had compiled, an information about Lokanath Goswami. There's probably a lot more if you want to uh, dig it out, probably in Sanskrit or Hindi. A personal associate of Lord Goranga, Lokanath Goswami, a personal associate of Lord Goranga, fully absorbed in pure love. Sri Lokanath Goswami <coughs> was the eldest of the Goswamis living in Rajabhumi. Rajabhumi means the place where Krishna uh, appeared on this earth. Bhumi means earth. Raja Bhumi. He shunned. Raja means the land of Vrinda. Vrindavan, Raja. It's a Raj. Uh, uh, Mother Vrinda. She's a Tulsi plant. She's the queen of Vrindavan. Well, she's the... Uh, and yet Vrindavan's named after her. Vrinda. He shunned name and fame so much that he asked Krishna Das Kaviraj to keep his name out of Chaitanya Chaitamrita. His body and mind were completely attached to Krishna. Krishna. No. Chaitanya. No. I already told you. Vrindavan Dham again. His body and mind were completely attached to Vrindavan Dham. The divine leaders of Radha Vinod played in his heart. His ears existed only to hear the Pasamas. Going by now. Srimad Bhagavatam. <laughs> Anyone who reads the Srimad Bhagavatam, said Lokanath Goswami, he is my friend. friend. That's nice. <laughs> now there's so many friends people are reading Srimad Bhagavatam the bodies are handing them out on the street just imagine the people that are reading Srimad Bhagavatam in London what's all this about then? <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva <laughs> what's all this? <laughs> So look at that uh, Goswami, are they a friend? Is he a friend? Imagine having a friend. Look at that Goswami. Once Sri Krishna himself appeared and gave Lokanath a deity of Radha Vinod. Krishna actually appeared himself and gave him a deity of himself. He was that much absorbed in Krishna consciousness. It's just amazing. I can't imagine. We, when we get the deities, you know, we have to order them from Jaipur, they have to be carved, and they have to be shipped, costing a lot of money, takes weeks, right? they may get broken, we have to open the box, and we have to put them on the house and everything, install them. This time, since Krishna suddenly appeared, I don't know the full story, I'd like to know more. Anybody know the story? Krishna appeared and gave him the deity of himself. It's just uh, inconceivable, Mir miraculous, you would say. It's a miracle. So he was a miraculous person. So, Lokanath Goswami carried his deity all over Raj in a cloth bag hung around his neck. And a little cloth bag around his neck. And he kept the deity, they can't have been too big, small deities. And <coughs> these deities are in Jaipur, Rajasthan. Anybody likes to go to, I think that's a good reason to go to Jaipur, to see the original deities of Radha Vinod. I worshipped in Jaipur. Although first rejecting, although first rejecting, Lokanath Goswami finally accepted Narottam does for initiation as his only disciple. 
He appreciated <coughs> Narottam Das's genuine humility and determination to serve. Every night for one year, Narottam Das secretly served his Guru Maharaj by carefully cleaning the field where Lokanath Goswami passed stool. In India, if you don't know the, the you know, in the village, generally you go to a particular field and uh, you pass stool. Sometimes the ladies have a different field, the men have a different field, different area. And there's a few bushes, you know, it's not. And you generally go in the dark anyway, take a torch or... Anyway, Lokanath, uh, Narutam Das used to hide somewhere and then he used to go and clean it up. So that, you know, sometimes it's a bit awkward, you don't want to tread in your own stool or someone else's stool. Anyway, the, the sun is so hot in India, by the end of the day, it's, or the pigs come, as the uh, nature's switch disposal system is called the pig. And the pig hangs around the village, especially in the morning. He's up and awake, sniffing here and there. <laughs> and actually now they're discovering that this so-called modern advancement, this what they call a water closet, it ends up completely polluting the, the ground level of the water, which we have to drink. Sooner or later, later it seeps down, and it doesn't digest properly, and it just creates havoc. But this system was also good, it's also practical, tropical countries. So anyway, but this was unheard of. Naratan used to hide and then clean the field where his spiritual mind and, and looking at his was saying, what's going on here? You know, every day it's perfectly clean, no sign of my stool. Someone's there. And eventually he discovered Naratam. What are you doing? He said, Oh, I'm just cleaning up. So this touched his heart. So this, <laughs> this is a really serious devotee. <laughs> Seriously, he really wants to be my disciple. So he, he, he was, Narottam Das became his only disciple after proving his sincerity and humility. And <clears throat> In this gone also, we have a system, a trial period of one year. If you want to become a disciple. And at least, I, I don't know about in Solstice, but generally I think it's a bit long in Solstice. But uh, you have to worship Prabhupada to see six months before you choose your present spiritual master and uh, the representative of Prabhupada and uh, there are some tests also so at least a year you can't just walk in and get initiation you have to prove your worth what's the rule now? Huh? everybody the rule? So it's a bit long huh? I think it's one year you have to be uh, worshipping Papa. It's like a counseling system. Yeah, and then six right. months. One year. Chanting 16 rounds, following four right? For one year. Before you can aspire. Then you can choose to be a spiritual master. Maybe uh, Rana Swami or Lokanath Maharaj or Bhaktivikash uh, Swami. And one of the present spiritual masters. And then, after another six months, can be initiated. So this is traditional, it's not a new thing. The, the, the scriptures say like this, is that you, you should test your spiritual master, and your spiritual master should test you. So this was a testing period. Because uh, looking at the master, didn't even want any disciples. But I think there's a longer story. That's why I wanted to get that book. There's a book which is a, you know, focuses in magnifying glass on the life of Narottam Das. There's more to it than this. I think they, I don't know what to say, I think, but I did read this book a few times. And I wouldn't be surprised. That's another speculation. I wouldn't be surprised. But, uh, shouldn't speculate. But Lokanath Maharaj may have been reminded by Lord Chaitanya himself 
that he should take a disciple.